New Female Humanoid Robots Revealed by Boston Dynamics Boston Dynamics' robots doing incredible feats have made the company a household name. Atlas, a humanoid robot developed by Boston Dynamics, has gained notoriety for his unmatched ability to do backflips, leap over obstacles, and dance. An excellent example of this is Atlas's most recent parkour video, which shows the robot running successfully. Within a few hours of its publication, it had amassed hundreds of thousands of views and was one of the top 10 topics on Twitter in the United States. This film provided a unique look into how Boston Dynamics' engineers built and trained Atlas to do the feat of parkour running. In contrast to Atlas's usual practice of displaying polished outcomes, this film highlights some of the company's mistakes. How big is this news for the robotics world? In this episode, let's find out more. Growth and learning co-occur in both animals and humans. As your body and brain mature, you learn to crawl, stand, walk, run, leap, and participate in sports. But it isn't easy to develop a robot. There are several steps involved in developing a fully functional robot, which must be taught the abilities it requires to do its tasks effectively. Engineers and scientists at Boston Dynamics think that improving Atlas for parkour performance will help them attain all the subtleties of bipedal motor abilities. Understanding why Atlas should have the same physical capabilities as humans does not need a lot of creative thinking or industry-specific expertise. In the future, robots will be able to react to their environments with the same degree of dexterity as an ordinary adult human, allowing for nearly infinite applications. It is assumed that the fundamental physical abilities to run, jump, vault, and squeeze through tight spaces that all humans possess can be taught to a robot by teaching it to do backflips. Atlas has come a long way since its inception, even without the spectacular movements. It displays some fascinating core skills, such as the ability to reset its equilibrium when it lands awkwardly. Boston Dynamics developers have generalized Atlas's behavior by supplying Atlas with template behaviors, such as leaping and vaulting and allowing the robot to adapt to new situations. There are a few things that the robot is currently unable to do, though. When Atlas fails a leap or loses its equilibrium, it often falls to the ground. Primates reflexively extend their arms to protect their heads, necks, eyes, and other vital organs when they are about to fall. The ability to sprint on tight ledges and leap from platforms is a talent we develop early in life. An Atlas review by Boston Dynamics engineers, Atlas's cutting-edge electronics and software give the robot the power and stability it needs to perform at a human level of agility. Repeating the parkour exercises helps the robot change its actions depending on its observations. Instead of pre-programming all conceivable movements, the team built a narrower collection of behavior templates that may be used in the given situation. No doubt, Atlas has compact hydraulic system. Algorithms reason through complicated dynamic interactions involving the whole body and surroundings to plan motions. This sophisticated control system makes it possible to move in various ways that are both flexible and agile. This allows them to do jumps and other stunts that need a high strength to weight ratio. Tested by DARPA Robotics Challenge In the DARPA Robotics Challenge, the proposed full body controller is tested on Boston Dynamics' Atlas robot. Atlas features 28 hydraulic actuators, including six for each leg and arm, three for the back joints, and one for the next angle of tilt. Our strenuous terrain, walking, ladder climbing, and full body manipulating controls are geared for it. The robot's whole body dynamic balancing allows it to work both inside and outside structures. Autonomous or remote control, Atlas can detect impediments and handle rugged terrain. The robot is powered by electricity and manipulated by hydraulics. Using 3D printing to reduce weight and space, the Atlas robot has a very strong to light ratio and a vast workspace. Atlas can handle things in its surroundings and traverse through uneven terrain thanks to stereo vision, range sensing, and other sensors. Atlas is also capable of standing back up after being pushed or jostled. In the DARPA Robotics Challenge, the proposed full-body controller is tested on Boston Dynamics' Atlas robot, with 28 hydraulic actuators. Atlas has six for each leg and arm, three for the spinal joints, and one for the neck pitch. All of our walks, climb, and full-body manipulation controls have been designed with this in mind. Splines are used to construct high-level movements like swing foot trajectories. The knot points for the splines are located at the stated footstep places. 
direct joint angles for one or both arms or target Cartesian positions for one or both hands are requested via a sequence of instructions sent by the operator during full body manipulation. Using these instructions, you may change your location. In the inverse kinematic formulation, we utilize constraints to ensure that the joint angles provided are maintained. Splines that begin at the current target and terminate at the new target are used to transition the required places in significant Cartesian movements. It's a simple activity for humans, but very difficult for humanoid robots to navigate doors. Door detection, walking to the door, opening the door, and walking through the door are subtasks of door traversal. An event-driven finite state machine controls the autonomous execution of the process with subtasks as states and human validation at essential intersections. First, the finite state machine jumps to detect a door. To see, a vision-based technique is used. After the robot gets the door's average and the handle's location, the limited state machine transitions to walking to the door state. As soon as this is accomplished, the robot moves to where the door's intended standing position. It's the third state in the finite state machine. Ladder climbing uses the same controller as manipulation. Still, the bulk of the action is pre-scripted, with the operator only having control over the final positioning of the hands and feet. Using the other hand or foot as a guide, the hand or foot is placed in a position that is close to the intended position. Force sensors detect foot contact, and position sensors detect foot contact after it has already happened. This allows the correct vertical height to be obtained automatically. Due to the robot's vulnerability to rotational sliding, which may result in unanticipated yaw rotations, the weight is distributed evenly over all four feet. We must spin the inverse kinematic solution to match the practical orientation to accurately put the hands on the next rung to recover from such rotations. Robustness in the real world is a significant issue for robots. This may be seen in the Atlas video. After it is damaged, a team of engineers must restore Atlas regularly. Costs rise and training time is slowed due to this cycle. Simulated learning is an alternative to real-world training. A virtual version of the robot may be trained quickly and cheaply in a three-dimensional environment created by software developers. Robotics and self-driving automobiles both rely heavily on simulated training, and there are now a variety of virtual environments available for this purpose. On the other hand, virtual worlds are just an approximation of the actual world. Small nuances may have a significant influence and they don't eliminate the necessity for robots to be trained in the real world. There are multiple examples of this in the Atlas video. When Atlas comes to a barrier, it uses its arm to leap over it. This is a straightforward exercise that doesn't need a lot of physical exertion. However, Atlas's arm trembles uncomfortably despite its success. What else can we expect from Boston Dynamics? Robots for the army, robots for homes, but with such a pace of advancement, we expect such big news in just from 5 to 10 years. Let us know in the comment section. With that being stated, that wraps up our video for today. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel to get more amazing videos like this and push the notification bell icon to get the updates faster. See you soon in our next video. Until then, peace.